Hi, this is Tom from the Blue Dot, and today we're going to cover how to factory reset your HTC Incredible for Verizon. Um, now, there's a few reasons you might want to factory reset your phone. Uh, if you're going to be reselling your phone and you don't want to have any personal information like any apps or uh, banking information or pictures, um, you can factory reset it and completely wipe it. It'll be as if you just bought it brand new, at least software wise. Um, the other reason could be that maybe you downloaded some apps that aren't really, um, that don't really mesh well with other apps. It can cause a conflict. Um, I've known people to download uh, text messaging apps that can actually cause you to not get text messages, as ironic as that sounds. Um, and there's also other video apps that can really mess with video and stuff like that. So always be careful uh, with what you download. Check the reviews, even on the Google's Play Store, because uh, sometimes people will leave a review and tell you exactly what not to do or what phone it doesn't really work well with yet. Um, so let's get into that. So first thing you want to do is turn this on. Wake it up, and you're gonna hit menu, and go to settings. Now on most Androids, you might find the factory reset to be under privacy, um, most newer Androids, but this is about, this is a little bit older for an Android, so uh, there is actually no privacy section. They kind of have the same um, options split up among uh, these different settings. Uh, so you're going to find factory reset on the HTC Incredible in uh, SD and phone storage. So let's click on that. And this will show you all the, the amount of space that you have physically on the phone and on your SD card, um, which by the way, you might want to take out of your phone before you factory reset it. You can still leave it in. It'll give you the option that it won't wipe it, but you may as well just take it out just in case. Um, so we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. And right here is factory data reset. So we're going to select that. And right there, just like I said, it gives you the option to erase the SD card as well. Uh, we're not going to do that. And right here it says reset phone and reset phone and internal storage. Um, what that means is if there's any pictures that are left on the internal storage, it'll wipe that too. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then it'll ask you again if you're, if you're really sure you want to erase everything. Say yes. And it'll go through its whole little setup thing. Essentially, it'll just wipe the whole thing clear all the backgrounds we changed, all the apps we moved around, um, any pictures we've taken that went physically onto the device instead of the micro SD card will all be deleted. Um, sometimes this can take a few minutes, uh, sometimes it can just take a few seconds. Um, so let's just skip ahead. All right, and the device is powered on completely and we can swipe down. And still has a little bit of power up to do, but essentially once this is all done, it'll ask you to activate as if you've never owned this phone before. Um, and you just go through the normal steps as usual. Um, if you're still keeping this phone, just activate it like normal. It shouldn't, you shouldn't be getting any extra charge or anything like that. Um, and if you have a Gmail account, which I've suggested multiple times before to get, uh, it'll automatically download all of your contacts and saved information from there. Uh, and it will be almost like your phone was before, but it won't have any of the apps or anything that you may have downloaded with it. Um, so that is it. That is how you factory reset an HTC Droid Incredible for Verizon. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below and I'll try to get uh, answer them personally. Uh, my name is Tom from Blue Dot. Thanks for watching.